Hi, this is Brendan from Universal Development. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about what I think is my favorite feature of the online resident portal. That's online payments. With online payments, you can pay your rent from any computer, whether you're at home or on vacation, as long as you have an internet connection. Another great thing is you have complete control over the payments that you make. You can make a one-time payment if you're having trouble getting by the office, or you can set up a recurring payment that will pay your rent automatically at the same time every month. So with all that being said, why don't we take a look and I'll show you how to take advantage of these great and wonderful features. The first thing you want to do to set up an online payment is log into the resident portal. Once you log in, you want to go to Pay Your Rent Online. Now, if this is your first time going into payments, you may come to a Terms of Use and Privacy page. You want to accept the Terms of Use and click Submit in order to continue. Also, if you don't have a checking account or a savings account set up yet, it's going to take you directly to the Accounts page. And here's where you're going to add your account. You want to click here to add the account. The first thing you want to do is give your account a name. You can name it anything you like. I just named mine my checking account. Next you want to choose whether it's a checking account or a savings account. Then you want to put the name that's on the account, the address that's on the account, and then we're going to put in the routing number and the account number. If you don't know which ones are the routing number and which ones are the account numbers, you can mouse over where is this and it'll show you. So you're going to need to put in each number twice, the routing number twice, and the account number twice. Once you've got that entered, you want to re-enter your resident portal password and click confirm. Now if there are any obvious errors with any of this information, um, it's going to highlight those fields in red for you to make those changes. So after you click confirm, it's going to take you to an account detail page. Now you want to double check and make sure that this information is correct because there is the chance that it didn't detect any errors but maybe that account information is incorrect and if that's the case you're going to get charged, charged fees or penalties when you make your transaction because it's unable to locate your account. So if all that information is correct you want to click submit and then it's going to take you to a little thank you page that's going to also tell you that you need to be able to make sure you can accept emails from realpage.com and selectpayments.com. So then once you click OK, you'll see that your account will be added here. You have the ability to edit or delete this account at any time and you can also have multiple accounts listed at any time. So if you need to add another account, you can click here to add the account and go through those same steps. So once all of our account information is set up, we have a few options. We can look at our current statement, which is going to show us our current account balance. We can do a one-time payment by checking uh, Pay Your Rent Now. You can see your copy of your ledger or your payment history. You just have to enter in the start dates and the end dates. And you can set up a scheduled payment or a recurring payment. I want to show you both the one-time payment and the recurring payment. So I'm going to start with the one-time payment by selecting Pay Rent Now. Here it's going to allow me to pay my current account balance. If for example I'm paying November's rent and it's at the end of October, my balance may be zero but I have the ability to check Pay Next Month's Rent to pay um, the charges for the next month. Next I'm going to put in what date I want that payment to be made on. I can click the calendar to choose that date and if I want to go to the next month I can choose November 2012. Click go. Or I can use the arrows. I want to be sure that I choose a date prior to the 6th so I can avoid any late fees. Next, I'm going to choose the account. Right now, I only have one account set up, my checking account. If I wanted to add another account at this point, I have that option by clicking Add Another Account. 
Then I'm going to re-in my resident portal password and click confirm. After I do that, it's going to take you to a confirm payments details page where you make sure that all the information is correct. And then you could submit the payment and then it's going to take you to a payments results page. And that's how you set up a one-time payment. You also have the ability to set up recurring payments which are going to automatically debit your account every month on the same day. In order to set one of those up, you can go to scheduled payments. To add a scheduled payment, I need to click here to add scheduled payment. Once I do that, I'm going to need to set up a payment name. So I'm just going to name this one 12 month lease. Next is an authorization checkbox, which basically just gives your property the authorization to debit your account based on how you set it up. Next are the effective dates. So since this is a 12 month lease, I'm going to have the start date as November 1st, and I'm going to end it on December 31st of the next year. I can also use the calendar to pick my dates. Now this effective date is just basically when the scheduled payment um, is set up. It's not the actual date that the payment is going to be made on. That's going to be done in step number five. So next I want to choose what amount. I have a couple of options here. I can choose the fixed amount or an open balance not to exceed. Most of them are probably going to be fixed amounts since um, for the most part, our amounts don't change each month. So I'm going to choose the fixed amount of 1200 I could choose open balance not to exceed, exceed if, for example, I know that my uh, balance may change every month. I can choose it to pay just the open balance up to a certain amount. And if you want a little more detail on what the difference is, you can mouse over this what is the difference link and it will explain it to you. So I'm just going to choose fixed amount for $1,200. Next, I'm going to choose what day of the month I want it to be paid on. So if I know, for example, that I'm going to have funds deposited into my account on the third of every month, and I want my rent to be paid on the fourth, I can set it to be paid on the fourth. Also, don't forget that you want to make sure that you pay it before the sixth so you can avoid any late fees. Again, I'm going to choose which account I would like the payment to be made from. And I'm going to re-enter my resident portal password. Then click confirm. Now it's going to take me to a scheduled payments details page. And again, I can double check and look over the details of the scheduled payment to make sure that everything is correct. I do have the ability to go back and edit any information if there's something that I want to change. But everything looks good here, so I'm going to click Submit. And then it's going to take me to a thank you page, and it's going to ask me to print this page um, as a um, record of my payment. Okay, once I click OK, it's going to bring me back to the, um, the scheduled payments page, and here I can see my scheduled payment. Now over here, there's a cancel button. So if, at any time, let's say this uh, is set up to pay 12 months of rent and six months into it, I need to make some changes or something, I can cancel um, this scheduled payment at any time. And also, if you move out and there are still uh, scheduled payments set up in here, it'll automatically cancel those scheduled payments um, when you move out. So that's a nice little feature to know that you have complete control over these scheduled payments. And that's basically how you set up uh, online payments. Well as you can see, online payments takes the hassle out of paying your rent. You no longer have to worry about making it by the office or leaving your rent check in a drop box. You now have the ability to pay your rent from almost any computer anywhere. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you how to take advantage of these great features. So thanks for watching and don't forget to make it a great day.